I am so excited to share with you five easy and affordable crock pot appetizers that you can use at any party, but they are perfect for the Super Bowl. All of these recipes I'm going to put down below in the description box so that you can have them for yourself for the Super Bowl or any party. All of mine I bought at Walmart Pickup. They're all five ingredients or less and really easy to make. In today's video, I am happy to announce that I have collaborated with a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Kelly over at Kelly's Corner. I will put her name right here. I also put her a link down in the description box. We have joined up together to provide for you five appetizers each for this video for the Super Bowl. So after you get done watching this video, make sure to go check out her channel. She loves to share with you everything about cooking. She does crock pot meals, dump and go meals, grocery hauls. She just had a baby, so she shares a lot of motherhood advice. So go give her a watch after you watch mine. You will really enjoy her content. If you are coming over from Kelly's channel, hello, welcome. I am the Simplified Saver, and basically all that means is that I like to share with you ways that I save money in my everyday life that are really simple. Saving money doesn't have to be as hard as it seems, and that's what I like to share with you. So I share with you tips on budgeting, saving money, saving time in your crazy life, I'm cutting back on your groceries, trying to find affordable meals for you to provide for your family so that you can save money and have more for your family. I hope that you enjoy. Make sure to stick around. I would love to have you and hit the subscribe and notification bell because next week is going to be a brand new series called $5 Dinners and I'm gonna share with you five of my favorite $5 dinners. Yes, $5 for a meal to feed your family and I'm showing you five of my favorites that I cook all the time. You're gonna be mind blown, so stick around. Enough talking, let's get into the video. Here are five easy and affordable crock pot meals for the Super Bowl. The appetizer that I'm going to show you right now is jalapeno corn popper dip. So dips are obviously an amazing choice for any party but the Super Bowl for sure so this one's super easy I am actually using like a smaller crock pot not my huge one so this should work you can obviously use a bigger one but the bigger one you can also use for larger food so a smaller one is definitely okay for this recipe okay so for this recipe all you need is three cans of fire roasted corn which taste amazing in my opinion so drain them and then pour them into the crock pot you need about a half a cup of sour cream, so I'm just using the leftovers of one of my sour cream bottles I already had open. You need to use half a bag of shredded cheese for the recipe, and then the rest you can save for the top. I chopped up really finely two jalapenos. Just don't touch your eyes after doing so, but you're just gonna give the ingredients a good stir and then you're gonna cut up cream cheese into cubes and you're gonna just set it on top of the mixture and this is gonna give it just a little bit of time to melt before you start mixing the recipe all over again and you're gonna put the lid on and I put this on low for a couple of hours and kept stirring occasionally, but then I topped it with chives, which was amazing. Chives or green onions, whichever you would prefer. And then I added in a pack of bacon bits. You can actually just cook bacon and crumble it, which would taste amazing, but I went with the faster option and I bought the ones in a bag. So give it a good mix, put some salt and pepper, and you're good to go. Throw it on a plate. You can eat it with scoops. You can eat it with Fritos. You can eat it with Lay's, just your favorite chips, and it is amazing. Seriously, we ate this, my family and I, in like two hours. The next recipe is buffalo wings. And I chose the frozen wings 
Um, there's actually drumsticks that you can buy that are similar, but just go ahead and pour pretty much the whole bag into the crock pot. I put a liner down to make it easier to clean up, but I'm using about half a bottle and then I changed my mind and decided, oh, I'm just going to use the whole bottle of this sauce. <laughs> so whichever you prefer. Um, then I added in about a tablespoon of garlic and gave it a really good mix to even it out. Now I'm adding about a half a cup of brown sugar and this is what's going to give it a little bit of sweetness to help take away from the kick just a little. So once you pour that in, give it another good stir. And you can begin drizzling it over your wings. And you can also layer it, wings then sauce then wings then sauce, to get a better coating on all of your wings. But give it a good stir and then you can place your lid on the crock pot and let it cook and about every two hours I decided to stir this to make sure everything was evenly being coated. Now this is optional. You can completely stop where you were and people can grab wings out of the crock pot but I thought that I would place them and broil them in the oven and give them a nice barbecue feel. It was amazing. Okay, so for this recipe, this is one of those for any party, but for the Super Bowl, do it as simply as possible. Don't make this fancy. So, big package of little Smokies. I put this in my two quart um, crock pot. I'm just gonna slather this in barbecue sauce, pick your favorite, and serve it with toothpicks or just with a spoon. And people go crazy for this stuff. I will link some fancier ones down below um, that have you like making it, making your own barbecue sauce, but it's a lot of work. But don't mean don't do it. If you want to, totally go for it. My favorite, Sweet Baby Ray's. Oh man, everybody loves this. But great value original. I also have this on hand. I would just pick whatever you have on hand. If you have a barbecue sauce that's not sweet, throw some brown sugar in. Or you can be healthy and G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, hickory flavor. So any of these, let it cook all day on low because I believe that these are already fully cooked. So you're not gonna have to worry about raw meat. So just throw these in on low, let it warm up for a few hours or throw it in right before on high and people will be eating this stuff up like crazy. All I'm doing here is tossing in the large package of Little Smokies into my crock pot putting on my favorite barbecue sauce and giving it a really nice stir. And I'm just letting this cook on low for a couple of hours, an hour to two hours tops. And these are ready to go. You can serve it with a spoon. You can serve them with toothpicks and let people grab them um, in a much easier way. But everybody loves these. It's a great crowd pleaser. Next recipe is buffalo chicken dip. Now you can buy frozen chicken. I also have read that you can just buy canned chicken and drain it and that it turns out really well. I'm just placing two breasts in the crock pot and topping it with some wing sauce. Just about a fourth to a third cup of buffalo sauce. I'm going to put in about a cup of ranch dressing, just whichever brand you prefer. And I'm gonna top that as well and then I'm gonna take my favorite cream cheese I'm going to cut it into little blocks and I'm gonna place it on top and I'm going to let this cook on low for a couple of hours and similar to the corn recipe earlier this is gonna let it soften now you're gonna to want to check back on it after a few hours stir it around and try to shred the chicken and then you're going to want to let it sit and cook for a couple of more hours and this is going to help it thicken up.
Now I'm gonna pour about half of a bag of cheese into it and stir. You can definitely add the whole bag if you would like. The cheese, can't go wrong with cheese. And you're good to go. Top it with chips. Last recipe is s'mores dip. So you can do this in the oven. You can also do it in the crock pot. So the ratio I like is one can of condensed milk to half a bag of chocolate chips. So I'm doing it in a really small crock pot. Um, you can do a large one. So if you want to do a whole bag of chocolate chips, go for two cans of condensed milk. And you're just going to give it a stir about every 10 minutes. It's on low and it cooks really, really fast. Top it with marshmallows, mini marshmallows, and let it continue to cook. This is whenever you can flip it to high for just a little bit so your marshmallows start to cook really fast. Give it a good stir and dip with graham crackers. And this is a wonderful dessert that pretty much everybody likes. I mean, who doesn't like chocolate or marshmallows? Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.